Hi everyone, welcome to Monday's analysis. Um, so today I'm looking at a, a few pairs. Um, well, it's actually two main pairs I'm looking at uh, through this portfolio. Um, I'm looking at CAD Yen, I'm looking at Pound Swiss. Um, these are the two uh, potential setups I can see over the next sort of, well, today stroke tomorrow um the rest of the markets i'm not i'm not too too confident in there's there's not really much going on for me um i will i will go through one or two other ones to be fair um just to tell you what i am sort of looking at now let's go to cad Yen because this is this is one that's on my list so if we go to the four hour time frame and we look at what um cad has been doing we can see we was pushing up okay uh we had this this bullish run up and then we had this um bearish momentum to the downside then what we done is we started putting in this uh consolidation okay on the uh four hour time frame all right we're in range in there and as you can see what we've started to do is break out of this um four hour consolidation now, what I'm anticipating um, for the market to do is to push up at least to these sort of highs here or here, okay? Um, that is what I'd be kind of looking for on this particular pair. So let's just um, clear some of these off. Just want to get rid of this range. So if we go down to the one hour time frame and have a look, all right? We can see uh, this was a level that we broke. All right, you can see we had a high test, high test. We had another test in. Finally, we've broken through and we're pulling back into that level. So what I want to see is a nice pullback of some sort. It could potentially be this, okay, um, as the pullback, or we could come a little bit deeper in. Now, I'm looking at this, um, at, at this move here. Okay, this is a move I'm looking at. And I'm looking for the market to come in and around a sort of around the 50% mark, which will line up with this level right here as well. Okay, so I would like the market to come down a little bit more in and around this level here. I'm actually going to zone zone this little bit out here. All right. So we are touching that level. If we start showing signs of rejection at this level here and start pushing up, I will be looking for buying opportunities. Um, again, we can see we've got target levels up here. Or if we come down a little bit more, um, that will be even better. Okay. And then I'll be looking for buying opportunities to the upside. Um, again, we'll have to wait and see what happens. Um, but I'm buy bias on this market and that is something I am looking at um, for today. Okay. Um, if we go down to Euro New Zealand, um, I'm just going to delete these drawings off. That was my analysis from earlier. So let's look at Euro New Zealand on the four hour, right? We can see we was, uh, well, we are pushing to the upside, sorry. Uh, we pushed up, pulled back, okay, into a level of structure. You can see there was a bit of structure level here on the four hour. Pushed up again, breaking these highs, all right? And now we pulled back down. Giving our outside return here, you can see we had rejection, 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 and now we're pushing um, to the upside. So, if you're on a four hour, this is a great place to start looking for buys. I mean, ideally, if you got down here, it would have been fantastic. But if we go to the lower time frame and see if we can get a better entry, this was a level that was holding, 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 holding. Um, I will be looking for targets in and around this sort of level or up here on the one hour time frame and um, if we get a slight pullback here into this level of structure here that would be fantastic okay it don't necessarily have to go to that level of structure it can come a bit further down but we can see we had this kind of i don't trade trend lines but we do have this trend line here and we do have a level of structure here okay so if we get a pullback in and around this region um i'll be looking for potential um, buying opportunities to the upside um, I think that's that will be a lovely setup to be honest with you okay 
euro usd um let's delete this off right so on euro usd what was we doing we was uh go let's go to the four hour we was pushing up okay you can see it was pushing up pushing up and then we broke to the downside and now we're pushing um to the downside let me just get my tools to work push into the downside okay now once again don't pay too much attention to these trend lines i don't trade them um it's just for you to see the market was put in um high highs high lows high highs okay and then finally we broke through and then we're making um low highs low lows low highs low lows uh, to the downside so we are coming up to a level of structure okay in and around this level if we go to the one hour we can see we pulled up into that level and um, if you want to use this as a trend line fine but we are into this level of structure this is the sort of region i'm looking for is this this ranging consolidation market here to the left okay i'm waiting for a signal i'm waiting for my entry rules to be met for me to then take a short at least down to this sort of level here or further if i can potentially take it it all depends on what happens in and around this level okay so i'll be keeping on a close uh keeping a close eye on this i'm actually going to mark this in red because i like this one as well um and then i'll be taking a shorting opportunity let's go to 30 minute 30 minute we're just pushing up still nothing really there okay uh pound swiss right pound swiss if we go to the four hour what we can see on this one is the market was pushing up okay on the four hour then we broke to the downside pushed up and we done this double top formation here which also come into a level of structure to the left you can see this whole area here where the market um, come into and we rejected off that level so let's look at what we're currently doing now the market has broken this level of structure which i call the belly of the uh, double top okay this is the valley the belly bit and a lot of people start taking cells once they see this broken so i, I you see here we had um, a candle that broke this level that would be uh, where people would generally start to sell so there is going to be selling pressure in and around here and i would like the market to continue down to at least these type of lows here so how can we get involved let's go to the one hour one hour time frame what was we doing we was in a small little uh, range okay we was in a small little range here you can see all right market tried to break out and is pulling back in what I want to see is I want to see rejections in and around this level and I want to see some sort of breakout. Now, once I get the breakout, I'll be looking for a selling opportunity. Will I take it on the actual breakout? That is a different story. I may be a little bit more conservative um, and I may wait for the breakout, pull back in and then a sell purely because I've seen these wicks come outside of the range and pull back in um, so we need to see what happens if i get a candle that closes below this level here this price level here of uh one one nine two zero seven then that will start indicating me indicating to me downwards pressure so we'll see what happens with that one okay what i'll do is i'll, I'll put an alert here to be fair put an alert um and then once we get a candle pushing beyond that level i can then come back and analyze uh, the market other than that i didn't really have anything else um pound dollar if we look at the four hour okay pound dollar is in this this massive range on the four hour um not doing anything and then we go to the one hour we see we was in this <clears throat> consolidation phase we break into the upside now normally a pattern like this should break to the downside okay so seeing this breakout might be a fake out and then we might come back in not sure so what i would like to see on something like this is if we are going to keep moving to the upside i want to see a pullback i want to see a push up i want to look for structure i want to see another pullback and then i'll be looking for buying opportunity uh, buying opportunities to the upside so we really need to wait and see what happens with this um again anything can happen 
uh, nothing that really um, shouts out to me buy or sell okay dollar cad um, let's delete these off let's have a look at dollar cad dollar cad we have been pushing down for ages okay pushing down pushing down pushing down we've got to a level now where the market pushed up pulled back failed to break these sorts of levels here and put in a new low pushed up fail to break these highs okay and put in a new high so we're in a ranging market you can see we push down again but overall we are sell bias on the four hour time frame so what can we potentially look for well i'll be honest with you for me i need to see this this level here broken okay i need to see this level here broken to the downside a retracement back in so something uh that looks like this and then a sell if we're not going to get that then i um we'll look for buying opportunities to the upside okay it all depends what happens um i'm not comfortable taking anything yet i need to watch this play out through the week and see exactly what happens okay so from my watch list um today i have cad yen which is pushing into that level which i'm going to mark red we have um euro new zealand still got a bit of a way to go for retracement but i'm actually gonna mark that red as well i really like this one and what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put an alert in and around this level here so if the market pulls back into my zone um i'll be on alert to actually take a buying opportunity to the upside uh euro usd it's in my zone i'm just looking for certain opportunities and i'm literally just going to be waiting now to get my entry signal to the downside pound swiss um need to see a break retest see what happens here so yeah they're the pairs i'm looking at for now um we'll keep an eye on these if anything sets up and plays out i'll record it i'll record um the, the trade setup and then what i'll do is i'll do a follow-up video to this one and you guys can see what plays out so good luck for this week um be happy traders okay be relaxed stick to your plans and trade your rules take care